welcome to our new YouTube video. Yeah! <laughs> Seriously, I need to stop doing that. But anyway, so in this YouTube video, you're just gonna follow me around our basic day in the stable while we are still on total lockdown. And uh, yeah, what can I say? Uh, you already seen my morning routines. We're gonna skip more through the day. Uh, the day we're going to follow is uh, our Saturday when Nicole has the day off. And when, what can I say? When I don't have anything other special to do or something, I don't mind spending the whole day with the horses. So that is what I'm actually doing in this uh, YouTube video. Um, I guess it's nothing more to say than that, but to continue the video. And can you imagine that next week, when my next video is going to be released, I'm going to pick like uh, the 10 finalists of uh, the giveaway that's gonna come to Switzerland. I'm being like it's so excited that soon I'm going to meet one of you. Um, so yeah, just keep watching and drop a comment if you have time and subscribe to my channel. <laughs> Give this video a thumbs up when it's finished. And yeah, I don't know if this video is a bit boring because yeah, I'm not doing anything special, but let's see what you guys think. Now I'm um, just finished walking out this morning. Um, Pixie is on the treadmill and Duke is in the paddock. So I'm going to change on the treadmill and take Pixie in and put Quinn on it. And then I'm going to start to groom the floor. So I have told you guys in the last video that Quinn has been like a bad boy on the treadmill, like jumping around and stuff when he sees me. And then I thought perhaps it's not just the carrots, perhaps he's irritated with the flies. So now I have tried to put on like a full fly kit on his face because I have observed that he wants to take his head down and do like this. And if this doesn't work, I'm going to try to put on a fly rug too and see if that helps. So maybe it isn't a carrot, but anyway, I'm gonna like try to investigate and try to find out why he's doing like that. Okay, you saw that movement. It was like he wants to take his head down and stretch his nose. But that shouldn't be necessary when you have all this stuff on, Quinn. Okay, so I'm going to observe him a little bit and see how it goes. Saving time. And another one. Last one. Princey is just uh, the last horse that I have on the treadmill right now. And wow, I think I have two sneakers. Oops. Okay, I'm just gonna use one now. But anyway, Princey is on the treadmill right now. And when he is finished, I'm going to change in the paddock so that you can come in and another horse can go out. But first, I'm just gonna enjoy some Pepsi Max and a Snickers. And then um, I'm going to start to ride Pixu. Tomorrow I have planned to jump. Um, but I'm giving Prince a day off because yesterday he looked a little bit tired. So I feel like he needs to take it a little bit easy before the jumping. I hope that that's a good idea. Because if he's gonna be too strong tomorrow, then for sure I'm going to regret it. Um, Kiksu and Quinn are also gonna do some jumps. So I'm going to ride them really through their body in the flat one. Before Pixie went on the treadmill, he, one of his feet was a little bit thicker than normal, so I'm gonna pay close attention to that. When he came off the treadmill, it was good, but I'm going to like really be careful and see how he feels today, because if he's just a little bit off, there is not gonna be any hard flat work today for him, and it's not gonna be any jumping tomorrow, like I really need to pay attention, so. I'm gonna ride GL. Duke has the day off, so he's just gonna get groomed. And yeah, Princey also has the day off. Mario and Quinn are still in Belgium. Yeah, there is like no rush for me, or I, I don't have to hurry or anything because I mean, we are still on lockdown and I don't have anything else to do when I'm finishing the stable. So I'm really like just taking my time and 
enjoying my chores actually. So I have these two paddocks for all my horses, but Quinn can just no. I have these two paddocks for all my horses. But Prince, he has to be outside alone because if there is another horse in that paddock, he will just gonna like he will go into him because I don't have any electricity in the fence right now. So I really need to fix that. But for example, uh, if uh, our one Pixu and Quinn are outside, they can stay like both of them in one paddock each and they don't break into each other. Jill cannot go out in the paddock right now because when she got home from the hospital she has like just started to trot um, like for 10 minutes and if we let her out in the paddock the vet was afraid that she would run too much so that's why she doesn't go in the paddock right now but as soon as she's back to normal work and can like jump around as much as she likes to she's coming out too. Look how Prince is enjoying it. So cute! So uh, now I'm going to brush Pixu and get him ready to ride. I'm going to start with this brush. He is still a little bit thick in the left front. So I'm probably not going to train hard with him today, but I want to take him out for a little while just to like see how he feels. So there is some grooming though. Love this. so much light coming into the stable right now that both me and these two are like looking orange. Well, he is orange, but normally I'm not orange. So, now I'm just gonna put the bride on and uh, I have already like, I think I'm gonna do like a, what's it called, pack pack up with me with you so I'm gonna show you like all the stuff that I do because I have a lot of things that I do before I can like put the bride on me van and like I put stuff in their mouth and stuff like that so everything is soft but anyway I use a fly bonnet not for the decoration but just for uh, that the flies doesn't bother them and go in their ears and stuff so fly bonnet on, sure the bright is good on. Love you! You're so cute! I always have an extra piece that the um, tongue is on the right place. Because one time I had a horse that got the tongue over the bit and it was not funny guys. Honestly not. And you want the horses to be happy. Okay, we are ready. Okay, we are ready to ride. We got the carrot bucket and the head collar and we are heading to the paddock. We are going to put out some poles that me and Quinn are going to practice on. I don't think I'm going to do some pole work today with Pixu because since he was a little bit thick in his leg, I don't want to take any chances. We're just going to fix you. Just trot and gallop a little bit if he feels okay. He is so cute because he really loves... He is so cute because he really, really loves work. It's like the best thing. And look how nice it is here. Pixie doesn't feel lame, but he's definitely trotting shorter than normal. So we are gonna go for a quiet forest ride instead. And then we are gonna put some ice on his feet and see how he feels tomorrow. mandatory untightening of the gird oh my god so difficult to do it and film at the same time I'm putting the stirrups over like that on the other side too I do that so that he will not like get stuck in them in case it comes a fly 
then open the nose fan and then grass eating here this grass looks good pixie okay important to smell find out what kind of grass you want And then eating grass and walking together back home. Guys, this is so satisfying on a hot day. They are like watering this perfect grass that is for like a golf course or something. Pixie sometimes likes to stick his head into it and it's like a rainbow here. I mean, they were attached to the martingale last time, so just gonna attach the reins. Oh, good boy. Come here. So cute. I wish the camera was higher so that you could see his ears are forward. Oh, I wish his head was lower so it was easier to get the fly bonnet on. And he has a thing that he always tries to shake it off one time every day before we put the bridle on. I'm gonna try today to prevent that from happening. Okay, no shaking. Open. One ear. Okay. I hear like a lot of grunching. I think one of the horses are like rolling. So we are just gonna take a forest walk. Like I basically always do that. Like I'm gonna walk next to him. Um, uh, then we are going to go to the paddock and work. So, like I don't know everything that I should film because I don't want it to be like super boring for you guys to like see me going around grooming and horse walking. I mean, you see that on Insta too, but I'm trying anyway. He is ready. Winnie just gonna start with some normal warming up and then we are going to ride over these poles these two poles it's 17 meters in between so i'm going to do five six seven and finish off with four strides if there were jumps 17 meters would be like four short strides but when it's only poles you know the horses don't really jump over they just gallop over so they land a lot shorter after so four is going to be like a bit more forward than it would be uh, if it were real jumps we have been on a walk to eat some grass and you can hear the cows there i have uh, his bridle with me and he has been riding just a head color so nice look at this sleeping 
me and Quinn are going to go out and shower. Okay, Quinn is ready for a shower. He enjoys it so much. Guys, it's really important to take under the armpits too because some horses, they get fungus there because um, we don't get all the sweat away and important to take under the belly also. And to lift up the tail and take in the ass. I'm also gonna wash its feet and I love to use this one for that and a magic brush. So I'm just gonna take that on and then like scrub it. It's really good because uh, this one is like antibacterial so if there are some small wounds on the feet you sort of get them like clean good too. Then it's like super important that you really get all the soap off because if you don't get all the soap off the horse can actually get blistered from the soap. So really make sure that you get all the soap off when you have washed the legs. Wash the legs. Putting on some Kevin Bacon cool fat. Oh no, don't. And some mouth cream. Another side. And then time for some ice. Ice time! Now Quinn is perfect in his box and I'm just gonna mock out a little bit to the others before I'm going to feed. Um, I'm mocking out many many times a day and I always get happy when the horse have like made a poop outside and you can see my horses they have a lot of hay they like get as much hay as they want and now I'm just gonna make a mock out and then they are gonna get like a refill of hay again. Mocking and now I mean Duke seriously it's feed food time come this is ready oh, so I'm feeding the muesli now it's coming It's not home, he's still in the paddock, so I'm just gonna prepare his food in here. Queen! I also need to take one more bag of pellets and put in here so I'm ready with the scissor evening buckets so they get some buckets with like mash and some pellets and some bricks in the evening so and with water of course so I'm just gonna prepare them now is on the way in from the paddock and I'm gonna enjoy some food oh my god guys look how dirty I have become but anyway, I have just put Quinn and Pixu in the paddock after I was finished feeding. Um, now I'm going to eat my lunch and then I think that I'm going to like brush it for half an hour or something like that. <laughs> so anyway, now it's lunch. Gail is in process, but her tail is really sticking together so I'm going to use some super sheen to get it easier to brush out. Good girl Jill! Getting so shine in her tail made her very nervous so she of course had to lay a poo poo but okay then I'm just gonna take a wheelbarrow and pick it up and then I'm just gonna do a little mocking round in all the other horses boxes at the same time in case somebody has laid an egg or something. Me and Jill are ready to ride and I put the black and red the red wrist bonnet on so she would match like my helmet and yeah we are ready to ride. Pack cleaning is up next so 
started mocking again, and you can see here how much hay Jill has left from her dinner. Hey, it's a lot, and Quinn too. But that's good. Self service, guys. So cute with the horses when they are just standing like this, hanging out. Yeah, Jill, I cannot have the boxer open right now because of that stallion who is in like that box because she is in heat. But it's so nice when they are just like here, sticking out their heads, wanting me to come and cuddle. Hey, so cute. Hey, Princey. Now it's time for everybody to get their porridge and they are really excited so i better hurry up i have prepared more hay for tomorrow that is under the roof and the rest of the hay he hasn't eaten yet i have to like put also under the roof and then close the door for the evening because they have the door closed uh, in the night yeah princey and also i have put in of course his evening hay Pixu is happily eating his porridge Box is clean, hay is on, and let's go next horse. The evening routine is to clean the wheelbarrow and the buckets that the porridge was in, and I really like, I clean them on the inside and on the outside. And an extra check that everybody is locked inside with that one, happily eating. Yes, 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 and yes, and good night, guys. So now when I'm finished in the stable and before I'm gonna go home, I'm just gonna do my cardio. I forgot my running clothes at home. So I mean, the tights are fine, but I wish I had like a sport bra and another t-shirt, but hey, I'm going to go home to the shower anyway, so it really doesn't matter. And here behind me, you see, one of my favorite hills so i'm gonna get running